Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Chromebook for basic Python programming with Sublime Text. But first, if you like videos like this where I show you how to install software on a Chromebook and on Windows, please subscribe. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I need to do is enable the Linux development environment. And to do that, I'm going to click on the launcher here and then click on settings or find settings and on the left hand side I'm gonna go on down to advanced and I'll click on that and I'm gonna go down to developers click on developers and then click turn on I'm gonna click next now it's gonna give me a username based off my email and also a recommended disk size the disk size can be changed at a later point. I think the username, once you set it, it's what it is. So if you want to change it, change it now. Um, I'm going to click install. I'm going to keep both the same as is and click install. And that's going to take a few moments. So I'll come on back once that's done. OK, once the Linux development environment is installed, a terminal will pop up and we want to make sure that everything's up to date. I'm going to maximize this and just increase the font size here so you can see what I'm doing. And to make sure everything is up to date, we're going to type sudo apt get update and then two ampersands for and and then sudo apt get up, uh, dist upgrade. Dist upgrade and do a dash y flag here and hit enter. Okay, and that's going to take a few moments to run on through so I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once everything is up to date, uh, we can minimize the terminal here, close this out, and let's open a new window here, new browser window, and let's search for Sublime Text, hit enter, and you'll see this sublimetext.com will come up. I'm gonna click on that, and I'm gonna click download. Okay, I'm gonna go for one of the Linux repos direct download, now I have an AMD uh, slash Intel based Chromebook. So I'm gonna download this file. I don't have an ARM based Chromebook. You see the ARM64.deb. I can't speak to whether this one will work or not because I don't have the ARM based Chromebook, but uh, it may be slightly different than what I'm doing. So just keep that in mind. I'm gonna download the .deb file here. Okay, once that's downloaded, I'll click show in folder and I will um, just right click here and click install with Linux and it's gonna go and fetch some information I'll click install and okay okay close this out I can click launch here or I can find the icon using my launcher I'm going to pin this to the shelf so I can access it later also pin the terminal to the shelf I'll just move that over here and let's open back up the terminal here. And I'm gonna clear all this stuff out by typing clear and hitting enter. And I'm gonna make a directory for my Python file. So I'll say mkdir python, I'll cd into Python. And then I'm gonna open up Sublime with subl and a period here. Okay, now Sublime text is open. What I'm gonna do is control shift P to bring up my command palette and I'm just going to increase the font size I'm going to start to type preferences and you see this have I have preferences colon settings I'm going to click on that and I can increase the font size by doing font underscore size and in, in uh, quotations there and let's do 25 to make that nice and large I'll save that and then I can close this okay so now let's just do a simple Python program I'll do print and do uh, hello my name is Tim and you notice I don't have any syntax highlighting so what I'm going to do is control s to save and I'm going to navigate to the Python folder here and what I want to do is I want to save this as something like hello dot py so the dot py extension at the end and that's going to give me the syntax highlighting the default theme here is Mariana if I want to change the default theme I can do control shift P to bring up the preferences and then the UI to select the color scheme let's say switch to Monica here so you get a little different coloration um, now if I want to run this program I can do control B to build it and I'll get hello my name is Tim 
This works pretty good for a lot of things, but it doesn't work so well for user input. So what I'm going to do is install some packages. Okay, so I'm going to do Control Shift P, and I'm going to start to type package. And I get this option view package file, but right below that I get install package control. I'm going to select install package control, hit enter. There we go, package control was successfully installed. I'll click OK. I'll do Control Shift P again. And I'll start, I don't even have to type package because it's already up there, but if it wasn't up there, I'd start to type package. And I get all these package control options. I'm going to do package control install package. And the package that I want to install is terminus. So I'm going to type terminus, hit enter. Now, if I want to run this program and take in user input, um, I can do control shift P and I can start to type terminus open and I get this open default shell and panel. By the way, if you want to make this faster, you can do keyboard shortcuts to set, set this up automatically. But um, if you don't want to do that, you can just do control shift P type terminus open. I'm going to do open default shell and panel. I'll click on that and I can type Python three and then start to type the name of the file hit tab to auto complete it hit enter and that's going to run the file and i can just type exit and hit enter to get out of there okay uh, one other package i would recommend installing when working with python 3 is the python 3 package so i can do control shift p uh, start to type package again you do package control install package and type python 3 install this package and now once that's installed, I can do control shift P and I can do Python three and you'll see it says set syntax at Python three. I'll hit enter. And um, by default, it's to set a Python two for um, the syntax. But now we have Python three syntax highlighting. So for the minor differences between Python two and Python three, that'll help you out. Uh, and that's pretty much it to setting up Sublime Text on a Chromebook for Python. If you like this video, please give it a like. Thank you for watching.